Yo, yo, one, two, y'all. One, two, one, two, one, two. What's happening, y'all? It's Ty Rainey. Welcome to the Pancake Social. I got my man Kareem Green this episode, y'all. Let's get into it. You don't stop. One, two, y'all. You don't stop. This is it for me, you understand that? I'm on my last leg. Yeah, this don't work out for me. It's back to crime. You understand that? The love of the rapper, the dubs of the lack. Do it for a dub of the black. My man, Kareem Green. Nice little zen What's spot. happening with you, brother? I'm good, man. Glad I'm good. You, glad you can make it, man. Make yourself at home, brother. Thanks for welcoming me to your humble abode. What's going on with you, brother? I'm in here getting get some breakfast. All right, I'm glad. <laughs> hey, man, thank you for coming. I appreciate you coming. Um, I know that uh, you got a busy schedule because you a real goddamn comedian. You out in these streets, <laughs> you really fucking doing it, man. I'm so are you, me. man. We out here both doing it, man. I Creating it. some some laughter in the world. And where are you from, Kareem? Uh, I'm originally from, I would say Brooklyn and Queens because I grew up in New York and I spent mostly half my time in, in each borough. Okay. You have kids? Though? Yeah, I got kids. I got three kids. You got three kids? Yeah. Oh man, boys, girls. I got two girls, one boy. All right, cool. Well, man. two adults okay. <laughs> and one little girl. Yeah. What, do you, what do you usually do for breakfast, man, in the morning? <laughs> I do sleep. You do sleep? <laughs> now, I normally don't really eat breakfast. I, um, no? No, I just, uh, I get up, as I say, I pray, I meditate, and, I, and I, I, I go, I write, and I work out. Sometimes I'll do a, a fast, like a, a intimate fasting. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I stop eating at a certain time. And eat at a certain time. Okay. You know, maybe stop eating at 8 or 9. And then eat. The next time I eat, it'll be like 1 or 3. Somewhere around there. Man, this nigga got a complicated ass 14 or 16. <laughs> nah, it's just, <laughs> it's, just, um, it's just for my diet. Just for, like, just for my... To feel better, you know. When I don't eat that much, I feel better. Oh, okay. I have not all sluggish and shit. And you don't eat garbage, I'm sure, yeah, right? Yeah, I try not to eat garbage. And even if I eat a little garbage... I have so much time for my body to break it down and process it. Okay. In the intermittent fasting, that you know, I'm always I I feel light on my feet. This nigga, man, damn, it's like you training yeah. for something. Well, good, you yeah. training for life. Nigga. There you then go. You're trying to live. That's there you it. go. I ain't mad at that. As right? you get older, you just be like, nigga, I need energy. Word. I need energy. And, and part of that is just your diet, getting rest, like you said. And diet you is a big part of it. Huge. Big part, sugar and salt. Those are the two. That those are the other two white things we gotta get rid of. Oh shit! <laughs> sugar and salt. Sugar gotta go. And salt. Yeah, those are the two that uh, that are hindering black people. Yeah, they're keeping us. They High blood us pressure back. and diabetes. I want my sugar and blackface. <laughs> okay. That's the only shit I want in blackface. Yo, black I'm glad you came. Yo, I'm glad you came to the social because yo, it almost ain't go down uh -huh. uh, because. I fucking sent you a text message that was that just seemed fucking crazy out the blue because we don't talk on a regular basis. Right. So I sent you a text that just said, "Do you like pancakes?" Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> oh man, yeah, because I think if you don't put context behind what you're yo, saying, yo, I'll be like, "Man, this dude is coming yo, out of the closet on yo, me." Yo, Kareem, <laughs> yo, you took his time replying, yo. And when I sent it, I was like, but what oh, did, I, did I say what? I, did I say yo why or what did I say? It, first you said, "Is this for me?" Yeah, right. Because because <laughs> when I sent it, I was like, "Oh, why the hell I sent that shit?" Because I I think I was thinking too far ahead. Mm -hmm. I was like, "This nigga gonna think it's." So you much. was in the middle of the conversation and text. <laughs> right, right. And then you, you, you yo. So when I got your reply, like, "Is this for me?" I was like, yeah, I'm doing a pancake social, blah, blah. Then I started explaining it. Uh -huh. For any, any man, I think black man, something sweet. Immediately, he's like, yo, you, you like chocolate? Yo, <laughs> what, yo, what kind of gay? Come on, man. <laughs> you ask a black man anything, anything that's sweet and take. You like sweet potato pie? <laughs> you look at you like... Yo, what's yo, wrong man, with this so man? You ask him like, if I like sweet potato. Like, ain't he married? <laughs> Forever, my nigga Sean Price, the boss. Slap niggas talking about it, Mike Tyson lost. I'm a broke rapper, hope that you like the floss. Plus a gold snatcher from clap of lights is off. None of y'all nice, all of y'all whack. And it's 38 snub noses. You gotta cook them pancakes, nigga. Look, look at what you're doing over here. This, I might report you to the FDA. <laughs> this is, this Wait, is not a fucking pancake. We are. <laughs> 
Listen, that's just the first batch. I'm just trying to get That ain't a batch, man. I'm trying to get my levels right, man. I'm trying to get my levels right, man. I, that is not for the body. It's Come not on. meant to go in your body. This is sound check. This is that's all that is. <laughs> this is sound check. They ain't yeah. supposed to see those. Nah, you gotta do it. <laughs> Hold up, they ain't supposed to see those. These gonna be. You've been right cooking though. wait, wait. You've been cooking pancake socials for how long and just still destroying pancakes? <laughs> you don't know my life! <laughs> Whatever's mine, let it cook. You gotta let it cook, bro. You gotta turn up the heat too. No, you turn no. Leave it on there and just turn it up. What you doing? You just turn those over. No, let them cook. What are you doing? I'm letting the pan heat up a little bit more. No, just let it cook. Alright. You what do you what do you allow to cook, man? Oh my god. This is the part where I hate you. <laughs> let the food cook, nigga. It's about, cooking is about patience. <laughs> you gotta let the food cook. This nigga scared to let the food cook. I'm gonna have to go get something to eat after this. I'm gonna just, you should make this the fruit social. <laughs> just eat fruit. You can't fuck fruit up. <laughs> the fruit and bacon social, nigga. That's all I'm eating. I ain't eating no pancakes. How long you been doing comedy, man? I got about 21 in now. Damn! 21? Yeah, bro. God bless you, brother. Mm -hmm. 21. Years. How do you stay motivated, still driven to do it? It's just what, what, what? Yeah. What keeps you focused, man? Twenty-one years is a long time, man. I don't know what keeps me focused, but I do. I'd like to do it. If you like to do it, it's not really too much. Yeah. It's not hard to stay focused on something you like. I feel now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, sometimes it's hard to stay encouraged. Okay. Or um, confident about it. But something you like, I do it when even I don't want to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's something because honestly, too, the, the audience feeds me. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. what I'm doing for this spirit, they're doing for mine too. Right. So it's a give and take. Okay. Has there ever been a time where, um, like emotionally, because I know this, this can be a very emotional uh, game too, the comedy world. Has there been times where you've had dark moments? Because I know there's been times where I have had, I've had dark moments where I just, I just, I want to perform, but I can't get through the little rut or the dark cloud that I'm under right now. Um, uh, let me see. Has there been a time? No. Uh, I mean, I go through the ups and downs every day, almost every other day. Like, ah, what am I doing now? Because, that, but that has to do with patience. My yeah. patience don't. I be thinking, you know, I, I want to be wherever I'm going now. Right. That's the only time uh, things, and that happens a lot. Okay. Because I, I, I always want what I want now. You gotcha. know, and, and this this game is, a with comedy, you get your laughs immediately. It's like instant gratification once you do the joke. Uh -huh. You know, but when you're trying to achieve things in comedy, that takes time. Right. You know. Right. And... Sometimes I just be like, ah, I need to be here. I want to be here by now, and, mm -hmm. and I should be here by now. But um, I'm learning to appreciate wherever I am. And sometimes I be thinking, I be like, maybe I'm, I'm supposed to do something else. Like you know what I'm saying? That's the only time too. Sometimes I can draw. Part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, maybe this is this is not God's plan for me. This is my plan, and I, I'm trying to force it. And there's something else I can do that's so much more fluid or easier. But the thing about comedy that's, that's good too that I like mm. is it's always a challenge. It's always, every crowd is a new crowd. True. No crowd is like, you know, you go one night, the crowd is amazing, another night amazing, another night, what's wrong with these motherfuckers? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they all be in that same mood for some reason sometimes. I don't know how a bunch of people come together and just be in the same mood. Uh, <laughs> just like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody angry. Yeah, everybody just, uh, oh, mm, mm. you know, so. I think um, I just I just really enjoy what I do. So and the challenge is to get them out of that mood and into a good mood. Okay. So you know I think that's what keeps me keep me going. You know. Okay. That's definitely what keeps me going. You got some good material, some funny, great material, but you also you. do a lot of improv too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's one thing, and I think a lot of young cats are getting fucked up when they'll see somebody like a Kareem Green when you come out. You know, you may go out there and just say something just to kind of connect with the audience, and there may be some improvisational stuff, but you make it, you've been doing it so long, you make it look so effortlessly. 
You know what I mean? It's just like second nature to you. This right. is what, because even if you weren't on stage or something, you're going to be somewhere saying some funny shit. Right. You know, but I think, um, do you do you feel that you improv more than you write? Or do you fall, like, do you kind of rely on ability and trust your instinct along with your writing? Because I know you write your material, but do you trust your instinct and your ability? Yeah, I do. That's, yeah, that's, to me, that's what creates my comedy. Yeah. My, um, my honesty is where my comedy really lies. That's the core of my comedy, my honesty. Okay. And, and also my creativity. But the honesty is where my improv is at. Okay. You know, so okay. uh, being honest, and there's nothing wrong with being honest. Uh, sometimes it can it can get a little dicey out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of people aren't into truth. Right. You know, okay. they're into agreement. Right. So if they want, if you, they don't agree with you, they be like, that ain't funny. Yes, it is funny. It's just you don't agree with it. Like I don't have right. to agree with somebody. Right. To think what they thought, the way they see it, is a funny way of seeing something. Right. Okay. You know what? Your mind gotta be open for that, or, or, or relaxed enough to be okay with other people being themselves. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I just go be myself when I'm in private. I just be myself and let that take me where it takes me, and I do my improv and whatever happens in between. I do my improv, uh, uh, and and sometimes improv lead to jokes. Sometimes my improv have became jokes. Yeah, so I, you know, yeah. I was about to ask you that because I know a lot of my material has it started as improv and mm -hmm. it became a joke. Like wow, right? That that's a joke right there. Let me try to remember or because it's it's a it. real thing. It's yeah. a real thing, and I think that sometimes I wish that the improv that I did like. Like those circumstances would present themselves other places, Word. so I can <laughs> yeah, do that yeah, again. Yeah. But uh, the great thing about improv is such in the moment. It's it's be it's special. It's like specific for that crowd. That crowd got that that night. Right. All for them. Right. There was no other crowd that got that but them. So you definitely get. A uh, once in a lifetime experience with Kareem Green. Yes, Mister Must See. Mr. This is what this nigga wanted me to eat. You see this? He called this shit pancakes. This shit look like a skin disease. I had to bail on my homemade shit and get this, uh, I had to give uh, my man Kareem this biscuit work. See, this syrup do. Now, have you ever, you, you, you uh, have natural syrup or what do you usually, Aunt your mama, log cabin? I like, yeah, Aunt your mama, log cabin. See, yeah, this is what sets syrup. it off. This is what sets it off though. It's what, not whatever. This one, or what's the difference? Just natural maple syrup, it has a different taste to it. Natural. Mm. Yes. I'm yeah. trying to get that reaction, man. Let's N see. Natural. <laughs> Did that the reaction? I'm trying to get the reaction, man. So I'm I'm almost burning mine to watch your okay. reaction, nigga. That's all right. Now, nigga, rushing. Now man. I'm just. <laughs> you been right, waiting all morning. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Stay focused. Here we go. All right. It's all right. Did you put bacon soda in there? No, no. That's just straight egg and milk. Oh, okay. Because that's, that's already mixed. That biscuit's already mixed. Okay. But we good. But brother, and the other one was just flour and f flour, um, bacon so bacon powder, two eggs yeah, and milk. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> but let me tell you, no I'm telling you, Kareem, it only happens when I'm doing pancake socials. It shit don't happen with the family. It, it, mm -hmm. They come out regular. And you use the same batter. Same shit. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I think it's a nerve thing, man. I'm not. I think it's pressure. The family love you. They're just not telling you. But you got an omelet. Ain't like you getting a special motherfucking omelet made by me, nigga. That's just. Mm. That's a pity omelet. That's a, <laughs> that's a my bad omelet. Like my bad, nigga. <laughs> I know you're really starving now. I fucked up like eight batches of pancakes. <laughs> I'm full of bacon and fruit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fill up before I leave. I ain't know if you're gonna get to these pancakes, man. I didn't trust him. Yeah, I didn't know. Just... Yo, it didn't look promising, man. I was nervous. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me, Pancake now. Social. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Kareem Green. Kareem Green 21 on Instagram. Give them to him. Give them the handles. Kareem Green on Twitter. And Kareem Green on Facebook. All right. Kareem Green comedian actor on Facebook. Get at him. It's another Pancake Social. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah. But Instagram we have yet. That bitch grind kid. Curious George niggas need to mind their business. Before I fuck around and find your crib. Oh.